Hello, everyone. My name is Caden Carver. I'm currently a fourth year medical student at Midwestern University, Arizona College of Osteopathic Medicine. Today, I will be discussing a triple therapy regimen for paragonodularis. My co-authors are Dr. Syed Hakeem Shah and Dr. Nadia Ahmed. A little bit of background before we jump into the case. Pragonodularis is a chronic cutaneous condition thought to be a nodular presentation of lichen simplex chronicus. It is characterized by neuropathic pruritus, often resistant to multiple treatment regimens. Common modalities used include topical corticosteroids, antihistamines, vitamin D analogs, calcineurin inhibitors, as well as neuromodulators like gabapentin, and then also immunomodulators. Biologics that target interleukin-12 can be used in refractory cases, although not all patients can access these because of the cost of the medications. The present case describes a combined regimen of UVB phototherapy, cryotherapy, and intravisional corticosteroids used to treat refractory paragonodularis. A 42-year-old female presented with a 14-year history of severely itchy bumps and burning pain treated unsuccessfully with topical and oral corticosteroids, unfortunately leading to iatrogenic Cushing syndrome. She presented at the time of the present case with indurated hyperpigmented nodules, paralesional erythema scattered diffusely across the trunk and extremities, as well as involving the dorsal hands, as we will see in a minute. Biopsy of a lesion revealed hyperkeratosis, focal parakeratosis, as well as spongiosis, vertically oriented dermal fibrosis, and an eosinophilic infiltrate. At that time, treatment was initiated with 19 biweekly UVB phototherapy sessions, beginning at 3.5 joules per centimeter squared of body area, and increasing 0.05 to 0.1 joules per session. Concomitantly, cryotherapy and intralesional triamcinolone, ranging from 10 to 80 milligrams, depending on the size and severity of each lesion, was applied at monthly intervals. Improvement in the gross appearance of the lesions and complete resolution of the paritis and burning pain were noted at three months of this regimen. The patient noted a maintained remission at five-month follow-up. On the far left, this is the pre-treatment photograph. You can see these hyperpigmented indurated nodules on the dorsal hands. Then in the middle, this is three months after the combined therapy regimen. You can note the flattening, decreased induration of lesions, as well as um, more of a hypopigmentation or almost normalization of the skin tone compared to this hyperpigmentation previously. Then on the right, we have our histopathologic image. You can see the focal uh, perikeratosis, marked spongiosis, and then also the vertically oriented dermal fibrosis in the setting of an eosinophilic infiltrate. In discussion, this case describes a combined regimen using UVB phototherapy, cryotherapy, and intralesional corticosteroids to successfully treat refractory paragonodularis. In the current literature, there is an open-label randomized controlled trial that has reported 32 UVB phototherapy sessions used to treat PN. Given the that our patient only required 19 sessions compared to the 32, it is possible that the cryotherapy and intralesional steroids led to the uh, less number of sessions needed with the phototherapy. Other studies suggest the use of eczema light therapy as well as Sorlin UVA or PUVA that can be used for PN. Several cases in the literature describe cryotherapy applied from 5 to 30 seconds in duration with a resulting hypopigmentation, which as we stated uh, was seen in this patient and given the hyperpigmentation seen with the uh, paragonodularis may actually be beneficial in sort of resetting the normal skin tone. And then all the effective topical and oral corticosteroids can have adverse effects when used over a long period of time. So just something to be cognizant of there. While these modalities have shown 
efficacy for pregonodularis when used individually. There are currently no reports in the literature describing a uh, combined coordinated use of phototherapy, cryotherapy, and intralesional corticosteroids for paragonodularis. So in conclusion, this triple therapy regimen should be considered in patients where biologics and other second line therapies for paragonodularis are not possible, as well as in the setting of refractory and extensive paragonodularis. So that's all we have. Here is the references. And this is my contact information. You can email me, feel free if you have any questions, concerns, comments, or just want to connect. I'm more than happy to connect with you. And thank you so much for your attention and interest here today.